Hi, my name is Diego Ordonez and this is The Purple Couch. Welcome to the seventh. <laughs> Welcome to the seventh episode. Today we'll be interviewing our marketing director, Mr. Carlos. Okay, Diego, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I was editing pictures and selling your couch. Magic. How does that how does that work? Okay, let's get started. Okay, perfect. So, tell us a little bit about what a marketing director does. So, a marketing director, well. Uh, first of all, I'm the only one here at, at All Star, and I'm in charge of the visual communication for the company. So basically, I'm in charge of the website. I run the social media. I do editing for the YouTube videos, the promotions for the shows, from the poster to the program, shirts, you name it. Like, I, I'll do, I do everything that is anything visual for the company for All Star Theater. And so, how did you get into All Star Theater? Ooh, that's a fun one. Um, I've been the marketing director for the past 12 years and we uh, co-founded with, I founded Ulster Theater with Mr. Joel and he was going to UTPA and I was a UTPA student uh, in graphic design. He was getting his master's in, in theater. So he had to do a thesis, a, a thesis about Spring Week, the musical. He asked me like, hey, would you be willing to help me do the promotion of the show and the posters? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So we co-founded all Star Theater like out of nowhere and 12 years later, here we are. So I've been in, in All Star for 12 years. What about what about you? How long have you been here? Um, Adam Stanley would be my fourth year here. Fourth year. How do you get into All Star? Well, I have a friend who was in Willy Wonka. And so I went and you know I just fell in love and then I asked my mom if she could enroll me in a summer camp. Mm -hmm. And I went to the Wizard of Oz summer camp. Yes, I remember. I think after that, that was Frozen. Th that was your first All-Star show, right? It was Frozen. Oh, so you were like looking forward to it? How old were you? I think I was nine. Yeah. And how did you come up with the logo, for example? Oh, the logo? Okay, so when we had when we did Spring Awakening, I did a horrible logo. It was so ugly. I just had to do something like real quick so we can have like the, the rights and all of that. And I remember the next year, we came up with Chicago. I remember that year, I was like, okay, now we have to do it right. And I wanted to do something with masks that represent theater, like, you know, the drama and the drama and comedy. I just started sketching and I wanted something with the star. I wanted a star. And I had a star in the middle and I just started playing and drawing around it until I got what we had right now. Okay. Cool. And what do the colors represent? So the red is for the, the curtain that you know like what signifies the, the theater and the purple represents backstage. You know like when you're in a show everything looks very purplish. It's a combination of the two worlds of what the audience sees and what the actor uh, goes through when putting on the show. And so tell us a little bit about the design process for the the I always start with the color palette, then work on the logo, and once I have everything like, you know what, this is it, this is what I want, then I start, you know, working on uh, small videos, like previews from the show. If you notice that every show has its own color palette, for example, we're doing the Adam Family this year. So I go on Google and I search Adam Family the Musical and then see the screen and I notice that the color maroon is the one that stands the most. So I pick the color maroon just to like have it like associated with the show. And then I create a color palette that matches the maroon. For example, like some tones of burgundy and uh, like a dark purple or gray. And once I have the color palette, then I move to the, to the logo design. And what has been your favorite show to to promote for All Star? My favorite show to promote will definitely be Willy Wonka. I had a I had a lot of time doing that. It was like a very open concept. Like I could do whatever I want. When we do a Disney show, we have to do things in a specific way because that's what is um, expected. I am so excited as for uh, the Adams Family. So that's another show that it's like open to any concept that you want to do. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. And what has been your favorite like show build to create and piece together? My favorite show build. Oh, we have some here. I have them all. I have all of them. I would say my favorite one is Willy Wonka. I just love the size of it. I love the color palette that I that I uh, chose for this one. 
And if you notice, this is the program where we started like organizing it by color. The purple is the first color, and then it goes from pink, yellow, red, and it starts again. Pink, it was very like organized. I really love uh, Willy Wonka. And so, what got you into incorporating photo shoots into the whole process? I remember when I was when I was working on Spring Awakening, I wanted the actors to be like movie stars. I remember going to the movies and you would see like individual posters of the actors promoting the movie. I wanted uh, to have a photo shoot and take individual pictures of, of the actors and also use those pictures for them to promote it on their social media. Because this was the time where uh, social media like took off. This way you could have your profile pictures, so we asked them to everyone to like uh, change the profile picture of, the, of your poster and this, will, this helped us a lot to, to promote the show. And of your 12 years here at All Star, what has been your favorite experience? Oh my gosh, that's a hard question. Bringing Broadway stars to, to All Star because no one does that here in the Valley. So I think that's a great, a great experience. Get to like know them and just realize like they're humans like us. What has been the greatest experience for you here at All Star? I think meeting Mr. Thane. Oh yeah, I remember him. From um, Hamilton. <laughs> that was really cool. That was a really fun experience. Just because he's he's worked with so many amazing people, yes, he got to give all of that experience to us. Yes, and fun fact, we were still in touch with Mr. Dane, so that's a cool thing. So, Mr. Dane, if you're watching, thank you for keeping in touch. <laughs> we hope you can come back soon. Yes. <laughs> and you mentioned that you had drawing classes when you grew up. Yes, I did, and until now, I love to draw. Well, let's put your drawing skills to the test with our new game. What game? Our drawing challenge game. Are you ready? Play. The way you play this game is you're gonna have a hat. Okay. And there's ten objects inside. What kind of objects? Objects from our shows that we've done. Ooh, like props? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm curious now to see what you put. So you're gonna pick one. Okay. And instead of drawing it, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to draw it on top of On your top head. of my head. Yep. Do that. <laughs> so make like an oxy, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Can I pick one? Yes. All Star logo. Okay. This this one is the hardest. Okay. okay, ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go. Where is it? The drama. Ah, oh, I think I lost it. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just made it. I Me too. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it. The camera was there. I didn't have to see Okay, now it's your turn. Your turn. Okay. Pride Rock and that's it. Brian Rock at Sunset. Okay. Yep. Let me have a visual decision. Okay. Ready? One, two, go. <laughs> Close. You oh. need to draw more big. Yeah. I'm so small. Um. I even added like the end. I, oh, it's supposed to be like this. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Snowflake. Okay. That that is one of the easier ones. That can be the one. Go ahead. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, something. Yours looks so good. Mine looks so good. No, well, yours looks much better than mine. I don't, I don't even know what I was trying to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mary Poppins umbrella. That should be easy. I mean, that should have been so snowflake. Okay. With a carrot? Yeah. Alright. One, two. Okay. One, one, two, two, three. Oh. It doesn't. <laughs> Your your looks better. Yes, good. I'm very small. 
<laughs> you are. Okay. That doesn't even look like an apartment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. Okay. Change the okay. okay. This one. This one should be easy. Okay. Okay. Literally a fork. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> Well, yours looks so good, right? I'm telling you, the oh point is to never lift the pencil. Mine looks so bad. Okay. Big. Big. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Yours looks so good. Yours looks like an actual hand. That's not fair. I don't know how we did it, but mine looks horrible. <laughs> Oh, it was so much that fun. That was so much fun. Really like this. Thank you so much for Of course, thank you for having me play. Well, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you for inviting me to the Purple Couch. That was so much fun. Well, for our friends watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Mm. That was so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Go do that. Before I keep to 10, can you subscribe? Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Carlos. Thank you for having me. That was so much fun. I it love was. the game. It was very fun. I know. Now we can practice our drawing skills and yes. use it as that also. To our friends at home, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And make sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. This was The Purple Couch. My name is Diego Ordonez. And I'm Mr. Carlos. See you, See you next, next time. time.